Thanks for joining us today. I'm Tess Diaz, executive producer of DomainSherpa.com, and this is the Domain Sherpa Review. This is a show where we get into the minds of successful domain name investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become better investors ourselves. We have three segments to the review. We'll start off learning what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Next, we'll discuss in value an investor submitted domain name portfolio. And finally, we'll preview some names going to auction soon at namejet.com and whether the Sherpas think they're a good investment opportunity for you. Joining us today on the Domain Sherpa Review are three industry thought leaders. We are delighted to have back, as usual, Shane Coulter of DSAD. Hello, Shane. Uh, how are you doing today? Great. Glad to have you. And Braden Pollock of Legal Brand Marketing. Hello, Braden. Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and super excited, first-time panelist, long-time industry Sherpa, Kate Buckley of Buckley Media. Hello, Kate. Hey, Tess. Happy to be here. So, um, Shane and Brayden, you rely with your portfolios on if you receive an inbound inquiry or um, you list them with buy it now prices. Now, Kate, you do outbound brokerage on behalf of clients. Mm -hmm. And I heard you just now say, you know, if you can, uh, actually, I forget what word you use now, but if you can, um, you know, create a brand vision, basically, or present um, a brand story, how often in outbound selling a premium six to eight figure domain, do you feel that you need to present that with a brand vision at the same time. Look at Brayden. <laughs> um, that, that is a great, that's a great question, uh, Tess. Um, it's, it, it so depends um, on the name. Um, you know, for, for some companies, the name just makes so much sense that there's, n there's not a lot of storytelling or vision to share. With others, I have to talk them into it, and I have to come up with a very compelling reason to get them to buy in to that vision because, you know, of course, some of it's numbers, right? Here's how it performs in search, and here's the CPC, and, and here's, here's what you'll save, right? And here, like your, your CMO is going to look like a rock star. Your board's going to be super happy, yada, yada, yada. But, but I also find they need to, to buy into the, the long-range vision as well, right? It has to be sort of – there has to be something that appeals to the ego about it, right? It's aspirational for their brand, right? And then inherently for themselves as a founder or a CEO. What about a category, category killer name? Yeah, well, that is a, that's a different conversation. But, um, I will, but I will say for the sort of category killer, the, the sleeping and snoring uh, sale I did, um, they, you know, in the beginning, the buyer was like, mm, I don't need it. I just don't need it. And I'm like, well, I think you do. And, and here's why. And my argument was very simple. I mean, it's so, so simple. It was this. It was, okay, I'm dating someone who is a terrible snore. Happily, I am not. But in my story, right? So say I'm dating someone who's a terrible snore. And, and I'm just like, oh my God, I have to break up with this guy. I can't get a good night's sleep. I, but I love him. I want, I want to do something to fix it. So uh, I, start, I start searching for solutions, right? And I'm not going to search for... CPAP machine, I probably never heard of one, but I am going to search, search for snoring, right? And um, so I started sharing that story with him along with the other stories around search and CPC and uh, how he would lower his cost of customer acquisition while increasing his bottom line company valuation. But I kept telling the story, positioning myself as his consumer, right? Because that's how I sell domains. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm a consumer. How do I see this domain? How would I use this domain? And then I switch, right? Okay, I'm a founder. How would I use this domain? Right? You have to wear both hats and sit in both seats to really be able to share that vision effectively with, with buyers. That's really fascinating, especially to see, I mean, 
it was over a million dollars, your, your sale uh, last summer, right? Uh, sleeping.com and snoring.com. Mm-hmm. And I mean, to put a million dollars down on something that a short time earlier they passed on and didn't see the value, that's quite the media education that you gave for free, you know? Um, well, it wasn't free. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't free. Not in the but end because he a, got it. He passed the class. But it was a story that he took that he took home and probably told his wife or her. I don't know if it's a male. And they and they said they gave an opinion on it. So you've set a little hook in there that now they can discuss and a couple of friends. Oh, you could own sleeping and snoring. You know, those are that's how it works. Mm-hmm. And then they get excited at night, and the next thing you know, they want to talk more about it. Yeah. 